everyone, welcome to April Books. I don't know if I'm toasting books sooner that don't appeal to me or if it's because of all of your great recommendations, but I have some fabulous books this month. And before I forget, YouTube has taken away the ability to put in skip ahead buttons, so hopefully I will remember to put in the timestamps down below, so if you're not interested in a book, you can skip ahead. The first one, amazing. And this is thanks to several of you who recommended the author, Alison Weir. It's called The Innocent Traitor. If I had Alison Weir for a history teacher, I would have loved history. This is, uh, she writes several books, and thankfully I'm late to the party, so I have a lot of catching up to do. The Successors of Henry VIII. So this book happens to be about Lady Jane Grey and her very conniving parents who are trying to put her up, whether it's to marry the king or different things that unfold. And I wasn't aware of this story, and I thought I knew a fair bit of history of that time period. So I found it very interesting. And after having watched The Tudors, this really helped cement the characters for me and to know who everyone was and to be able to have it come to life. She's a fabulous author definite best of for this year for me. Five stars. Absolutely loved it and I highly recommend it. Even if you aren't that into historical fiction, I think you would absolutely love this. Philippa Gregory used to be my go-to author for this type of thing. I think Alison Weir has surpassed her. It's just fabulous writing. So thank you to all of you who recommended her to me. The second one is Faithless by Karen Slaughter. I've been reading this series. It's light, it's fluffy, it's gruesome, it's uncomfortable. I don't know how you can mix all those things, but she does. It's just a really, really easy, light read. They find a girl out in the woods who's been buried, and the story unfolds from there. Um, Jeffrey, the, all the characters, so much happens to them. If one of those things happened to me in any of the books, I'd be a basket case. It's like over and over and over again. And yet it's just fun popcorn. So that's what uh, the Karen Slaughter series is. So don't go into it thinking it's something deep and heavy and profound. It's not. It's well written, but it's light, fluffy popcorn. This next one is another best of for me for 2017. Definite five star. Oh my goodness, loved it. Girl in a Red Coat by Kate Hammer. This is her first novel, which I find incredible. The writing was beautiful. Now, the story is very sad. It is a single mom and the girl goes missing. Um, for me, it wasn't about the story and I had to savor and not rush myself through this book because the writing was so beautiful. It just had so many phrases that were just lyrical, whether she's describing hair or the girl's tights that she wears or just how they feel. My heart went out to the mom, the daughter, the dad, just everybody. It was so incredibly beautifully well written. Now I've read some reviews that they thought the writing was too noticeable. I just loved it. I loved it. And I can't wait for her next book to come out in August, and I will definitely be reading that. It's sort of, it's real life, but it sort of has a little tiny bit of fantasy feel to it. It's just absolutely stunningly beautiful. The final book is one that's been on my Kindle forever, and I don't know why I didn't read it sooner. It is Still Life. Chief Inspector Gamache by Louise Penny. She writes a series of books. I will definitely be reading more. I am not normally a mystery fan. I like thrillers, but the true detective mystery, whodunit, I don't normally care for those. This was phenomenal. It captures small town life. It captures Montreal. It captures Inspector Gamache and his team. And it is a whodunit. There is, uh, Jane Neal is found dead in the woods and she's one of the beloved members of this small town. And it unfolds from there. It just, it was about friendship, it was about life, it was about family, it was about the inspector, it was about the French Canadian ways. I just loved all of it and will definitely be reading more by her. 
So if you have any recommendations for me, please share below because I get so many great recommendations from you. And I hope that you picked up a book or two that intrigues you. I'd love to hear what you're reading right now. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you next time.